I want to leave my boyfriend of eight years because of no proposal, but my friends and family are calling me selfish and are threatening to tell him. Pretty long but a TLDR at the bottom. Throw away. I'm 29, my boyfriend is 30, and there are no children involved. A bit of backstory, we met in high school but weren't friends. I was getting bullied and was unattractive. He was part of the popular crowd and was friends with some of my bullies. We reconnected again in college when I was doing much better and was actually attractive, and got together a little after that. It was a sore spot in our relationship at first, but I worked through the insecurities I had, and he supported me. He's my first for everything. I'm not his first for anything. My boyfriend Ryan and I have been together for 8 years now, but I want to leave because I feel like he'll never propose to me. Our relationship was great at first. Despite my insecurities, we went to couples therapy, my request, and that helped a lot. We went on frequent dates, studied together in college when we could, shared interests, lots of intimacy, always on the same page. We rarely ever fought, and I was sure I was the luckiest girl alive for not having to go through the date and breakup chapter of life. I thought he was going to be my first and only, but I'm obviously having second thoughts now. Around the four-year mark I was ready to get engaged to him. We talked about marriage briefly over this time, but nothing crazy since we were still getting on our feet and this was my first relationship. He still wasn't really ready to be tied down yet in his own words. I always laughed it off because I also didn't want to suddenly become a housewife. I never wanted to be one, but he wanted me to, and that was one of the conditions for us getting married. His family wouldn't accept me if I was working, but I already had a job and degree. I was enjoying my own money and the lifestyle two incomes could provide. I loved him though and was willing to put it aside. My family had no opinion on this. Our families were hinting at our engagement, but Ryan hadn't bought a ring as far as I knew, and we barely talked about it. He would always shut down and get pretty angry about it, then would leave with his friends to go cool off and come back late at night. He has a mixed group of five friends including himself, guys and girls, the youngest being Emma who's 24 and the oldest being Carter who's 32. They're all friends from work, and yes, I'm a little insecure about Emma. She's the fun bubbly blonde while I'm not. Emma also does not like me, and has texted my boyfriend about it. I saw the notification clear as day unintentionally when he left his phone out, and never confronted him about it. I'm in therapy for my self-esteem and communication, and it's much better than it used to be. After a few more years of this, and watching all my friends get married, I started talking to my best friend Mary about wanting to be engaged. She told me it'll happen when it does, and not to worry. My mom and sister said the same thing. It stung when my sister just told me to wait, because she was engaged and married within a year to her boyfriend. I started getting a little resentful, but tried to keep my head up and let things just play out. I brought up marriage more often, even the thought of kids, and he would always just shut down. He'd be grumbling and lock himself in our room if he didn't go out. I'm just over it. I think I'm falling out of love with him, and just want to be loved for real. I feel like I wasted my 20s. I could have been married by now. Marriage isn't the only thing on my mind, but it is a major one. Ryan just doesn't seem to treat me the way my friends' husbands treat them. I noticed it as we got deeper and deeper, but I chose to ignore it since I was still new to all of it. I told Mary this and she told the other two girls in our group. She also told my sister, who told the rest of my family. I'm getting tons of texts and calls from my aunts and sister especially telling me not to leave such a great guy over something so small, but it isn't small to me. They're all already married, so it doesn't matter to them, but it matters to me. Marriage was a goal in my life. They're all calling me selfish, threatening to tell Ryan, and my sister is even saying that I must be cheating to want to leave so close to the finish line, which couldn't be further from the truth. Plus, what finish line? I don't see a proposal happening anytime soon, and at this point, I don't even want it. Ryan is out with his friends again at a bar, and I just feel so ugly and worthless again. I feel pathetic for being 29 not married, crying, and not making my relationship work. Mary broke my trust too by telling people, and it's messing with my head. I just want to be married to a guy that loves me. TLDR, boyfriend of 8 years shuts down when engagement is brought up and runs away to be with his friends. I told my best friend about wanting to leave since it's been so long with no ring, and she told the rest of our friends and my family. Now, they're calling me selfish and threatening to tell my boyfriend. Edit, oh wow. I really didn't expect anything to come of this let alone in a few hours. After I cried my eyes out and did some chores, I read your guys' comments, and will update when I'm ready slash Ryan comes home and something happened. The comments were a big eye-opener, and I feel a bit stupid to not have noticed my treatment, but it's hard when your world is crashing. I realize now that Mary probably isn't the best friend for me and that her habit of gossip isn't healthy for me to be around. She's also the leader of our group, so that's always made her opinion that much more important to me. Also, my sister has always been a bit mean to me, but that's just siblings I guess. We've grown closer over the past few years, but I think this just destroyed all of that progress. A lot of my issues do come from having been bullied back then in high school, and the longer I think about it, I don't think I'm over my boyfriend being friends with those who bullied me so badly. Also, some of you pointed out that Ryan might be cheating with Emma. I'd rather that not be true, but it seems that I'm a little oblivious and had rose-tinted glasses on. Thank you everyone, I'll update soon.